Om Shanti. Today is your 105th day of your meditative blessing. And in today's blessing, God is reminding us that during the end times or during the times of complete annihilation of the human world kind, which we are moving towards actually. We are progressing towards that. You are seeing, you are seeing trumpets of wars going around everywhere. You are even listening about pestilences, about this virus today. And much more is there to come. There is so much of complete peacelessness in the world that now we yogis or we brahmacharis need to come together and if we have any form of doubt in our mind then that doubt is going to bring even us down and bring even the family members down along with us so this is the time when god says do you have doubt or are you somebody who has got complete faith in god and in the complete guidance which god has given us that we need to become victorious over our own weaknesses first within only then can be we somebody who will help others to be victorious over their weaknesses so let's see let's understand what god says in details baba says may you become a victorious jewel victory over vices victory not over other people not by war god says you cannot go into heaven through war by killing other people that's not the answer you cannot create heaven on earth through war you can fight the war within you of lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy and laziness and postman and many other negativities that war is within when you win that war then only i will give you the certificate or the passport to enter into heaven on this very earth once this old dirty world is destroyed by the upcoming third world war <music>
and thinking that we are putting down wrong people and we are the right ones. It is heights of ego, heights of not wisdom, lack of wisdom, heights of not knowing the right knowledge and because of which a lot of sins are happening in this world. So Baba says that victory is our birthright. We have to think that way. Victory is my birthright. Victory over my weaknesses is my birthright. Who's given me that birthright? When I become born as a spiritual being rather than thinking of myself as a physical being. When I have a spiritual birth, then I get to know who I am as a soul and I get to know the supreme creator to the true creator, the true defined point of light, divine being, the purest of all in this whole world. And then Baba says, Victory is your our birthright. By doing everything while having all rights, you definitely have a right to victory. I have been given all the rights of doing the right karma, the right knowledge by God, Father. And am I practicing those rights or am I not? If I'm not practicing those rights, then there's, there's defeat and there will be doubt. But if I'm practicing all those rights from morning till evening, my ways of thinking, my ways of eating, sleeping, getting up, looking, hearing, everything, then I'm victorious. Otherwise, I'll be defeated by my own weaknesses and the weaknesses outside coming from different atmosphere, different people. So those are tests I have to pass. Then Baba says, victory is our birthright. By doing everything while having all rights, you definitely have a right to victory. That is success. In this way, you will become a victorious jewel. Baba calls us the soul as a jewel who's been adorned by all the beautiful virtues, all the different powers of the soul, which have been defined in the description down below. You can have a look in the description of this video. What are the virtues? What are the powers of the soul which we need to be adorned with? All those are jewels of the soul, not of the body, but of the soul. So Baba says, in this way you will become a victorious jewel. This is why your words such as, I don't know, but perhaps all these weak thoughts, but I'm not so powerful, but I don't have those qualities, but I get up, can't get up early in the morning at four o'clock and meditate, but I have this weakness, but I get angry, but I get jealous. All these buts are not going to help us to be victorious. So Baba says, I don't know, but perhaps should never emerge from the lips of a master knowledgeful soul. I am the victorious soul of God. I've been the chosen one. I've been chosen because I have those powers within me. I'm the one who can overcome those weaknesses. I have overcome those weaknesses in every cycle of this earth of golden age, silver age, copper age, iron age and this conference age. And I, the immortal soul, have been going through this cycle of birth and death infinite times and infinite times I have gone back to supreme abode come down again taken birth gone through the cycle again gone back up again come down how many times can a soul do that infinite because soul is immortal so think about this divine knowledge i have been victorious i have been chosen by god every single time i am victorious and if you don't know what i am trying to talk about over here the cycle please do come over to brahma kumaris learn this divine knowledge of the cycle of birth and death of you as a soul how many births you've taken the secrets are revealed over here and I leave you with this beautiful knowledge. Be victorious. Stay safe. Stay protected. Om Shanti.